Mandrake Project was a band officially formed in 2002 and based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, not to be confused with another UK-based band of the same name. They are known for creating predominantly instrumental music that defies solid genre categorization. The tag cinematic stemmed from listeners and critics' references to how the music fits to visual stimuli and thematic imagery from films. The band has also been referred to as crossover progressive, ambient, jam band and even jazz rock. Mandrake Project's eclectic music is accented by its shared membership with groups like the Polyphonic Spree, the Twilight Singers, and New Invisible Joy in the Afghan Wigs. History 2001-2005 The band unofficially began in late 2001 as the byproduct of a nameless experiment involving key members of popular Pittsburgh-based groups of the time. The experiment was short-lived with the first proper group forming around band leader Kirk Salopik in late summer of 2002. Lacking a vocalist or conventional lineup, the band created an instrumental act with members revolving on each other's roles and instruments. Songs were built from rhythms and repetitive motifs, based on the core instrumentation of two guitars, two drummers, and a Chapman stick. The result was jagged, heavily rhythmic and sometimes complicated compositions, evoking echoes of bands like King Crimson, Slint, and Led Zeppelin. The band recorded three unreleased demos between 2002 and 2005. In 2005, just prior to the recording of the last demo, dubbed the Grand Theater Session, a significant lineup change occurred as drummer slash bassist Anthony Pecora joined the full time roster. This addition eliminated the need for the Chapman stick to be the only melodic bass instrument and also added the possibility of a third drummer. Violinist Justin Greenwald also joined during its production, ushering a dramatic change in writing style for the band. This final demo recording exhibited a newfound penchant for juxtaposing electro slash ambient soundscapes with aggressive rock numbers and long winded freeform improvisation which would become the band's primary modus operandi. 2006 A Favor to the Muse was entirely self-produced and independently released on the band's own Overneath Records in October 2006. The album contained influences from minimalist composers like Steve Reich and Philip Glass to neo-Arabic ragas to sci-fi themes and noir jazz in the style of Angelo Badalamenti. The album boasted a guest list of 16 musicians beyond the core members, in addition to a 40-piece girls choir included on the indie symphonic track An Ode to the Spaceman. The song was included on the soundtrack to the independent film, Cure for the Crash, by Brian Paul Higgins. The movie, a docudrama of sorts, explores the hobo-slash-train-hopping culture in America during the Hurricane Katrina disaster. It has appeared at various major film festivals and won Best Feature Film at the Seattle Truly Indie Film Fest in 2010, 2007-2008. In November 2007, Mandrake Project began the recording of their second album and first official label release, A Miraculous Container. The collection of songs for the album was recorded over a period of about 10 months and was finally released in stores on March 24, 2009. Through a bizarre turn of events, the band ended up signing a contract with Swedish label Blistering Records, who deal primarily with hard rock and metal acts. Like a favor to the muse, A Miraculous Container would also host a cadre of guests including a vocalist, former New Invisible Joy singer John Schisler, which broke prior tradition of the band's normal repertoire. He assisted with lyrics on two vocal tracks, Movement and Through Lights, and arranged the Salopic penned lyrics to the album's title track. 2009-2011 Despite the often confusing representation between the band and label, the album garnered critical praise in the months after its release in both press and AAA radio. In February 2009, a pre-release copy of A Miraculous Container caught the air of John DeLiberto host of the nationally syndicated radio program Echoes. The album appeared on the show's Top 25 in June 2009 with artists such as Moby, Bill Frizzell, Robin Guthrie, and Leo Abrahams, peaking at number 2 in August and earning a spot on the overall Top 25 for 2009. This eventually led to an invitation to perform live for an installment of the show's acclaimed Living Room Concert series. One of the live tracks recorded during the concert. Bosong was included on the 15th anniversary Echoes Living Room Concert Series 400, Still Echoes, alongside artists as diverse as Yo Yo Ma, Pat Metheny, Air, Aldi Miola, and Brian Eno. In addition, Mandrake Project was added to both John DeLiberto's top 10 CDs and songs lists for 2009, ranking number 9 for Best Album with A Miraculous Container and number 7 for Best Song Within 5 Makes 20. Jean Philippe Haas French webzine critic at Chromatique.net listed A Miraculous Container as his pick for the number one album in 2009. Several other US and European music webzines and press offered positive reviews of the record as well in the months after its release. The songs and 5 Makes 20 and La Luna were both used exclusively to score the short film Pluck, 
by acclaimed British stage director Dan Gemmett. Throughout 2010 Mandrake Project worked on a number of songs for a follow-up EP to A Miraculous Container, but a chance meeting with Porcupine Trees, Stephen Wilson led the band to Rob Palamon and his fledgling label Glassville Records. The label hosts other acts like Pados, Riverside, and San Domingo. At the suggestion of Palamon, the band continued work past six songs and released their third full-length record. Transitions in July 2011, 2011 Beyond, Mandrake Project all but disappeared from live performance within a year after the release of Transitions. Kirk Salopic split off to form the David Lynch slash Angelo Badalamendi tribute act Silencio with drummer David Jameson. Rick Nelson joined the Afghan Wigs for their 2012-13 reunion tour and started Marini Recording Studio in New Orleans. Bassist Bekor started the experimental collective When the Planets, 